full tinting is when the tree has completely changed colour um, so there's almost no green visible and it's gone to its autumn colours which might be yellow, might be red, might be bronze, actually that colour doesn't matter, it's the fact that there's really no green left on the tree at all. Um, and that's actually quite an unusual thing, we don't see that every single year. Full tinting can be very variable, um, can be from the end of September right through to November, maybe even early December in some years. Um, it's very, very uh, weather dependent. We don't always see full tint every year because in some years, in some weather conditions, uh, the, leaf, the, the tree might actually shed its leaves beforehand. Um, so if it's very windy, if it's very frosty, then the tree might drop its leaves without having achieved full coloration. Not everyone might be aware about why leaves actually do change colour and the yellows, the oranges, the beautiful shades that we see. In fact, many of them are present in the, year, in the leaf all year round um, and what happens is that the green pigment called chlorophyll, that slowly gets broken down as the cold weather increases and um, the colours that have been present in the year, like the yellows, actually are then revealed. So it's not a question of the colour appearing, it's that it's been there all year round. Some of the red colour, that's actually not there all year that is created in certain weather conditions where you get um, a concentration of sugars in the leaf particularly the red coloration but the yellow certainly is there all year round so it's quite an interesting story when you're out for your next uh, crispy winter walk just to uh, just to enjoy all those colors and understand why they're why they are where they are People that record nature's calendar say that they find autumn tinting particularly hard to record because often um, even the same species of tree can appear to be doing different things. You'll have one tree that's almost bare and one that's barely turned colour. So the advice that we give is to try and find three trees that are all um, carrying out the same particular event. So they're all tinting at the same time. Um, so we're looking for something that is typical um, and not unusual for that particular species. So try and find three trees that are doing the same thing of the same species and then that's the right time to record.